how to enable and disable root with one switch and give root permission to apps and use rooted apps without rooting your device. So without wasting further time, let's start. Welcome back to my channel. So before anything, let me show you the root status of my device. And as you can see, the outcome of the scan shows it's not rooted. Now I will show you how to use rooted apps in round rooted device by using this app which is free. The initial loading will take a while. One eternity later. After loading, a virtual space will be created with the interface like this. And on the bottom bar, click on the settings and you will get a whole bunch of options. But you have to enable only few options in order to use rooted apps without rooting your device, which I will be showing you. So don't skip the video, otherwise you may miss some important step which will result in error. Let's exit from the setting and on the bottom there's an option to add apps. So you can add apps which are already installed in your device to this virtual space. Or you can install any APK file from your device. And lastly, you can use the plugin which comes along with the sandbox app. Now let's go back and launch the app drawer. And I have installed few apps which I will be going through one by one. But before that, let me show you the root status after installing this sandbox app. After scanning, as you can see, it says rooted. As you can see, I have achieved this root privilege in a virtual space. The Play Store is also working fine and I'm able to install apps from it. Some device may face error, but don't worry, I will be providing you a solution by the end of the video. The Super User app is also working fine to control the Super User privilege to selected apps. As you can see from the video, all these apps has been granted Super User privilege. Let me remind you that my mobile is not rooted. The exposed framework is also correctly installed. As you can see the green tick, which indicate that it is perfectly installed properly. Even titanium backup is working totally fine. All these apps cannot work on a non-rooted device. And you may notice the toast message appearing granting root privilege to these applications. Now let's move to the next section on how to correctly set up the X8 Sandbox app. Launch the browser of your choice and type exactly what I am typing on the search bar. And it will open the official website of X8 Sandbox app. Scroll down and download it like a normal APK and install it. And once installed, launch the app and click on agree. And on the next window, grant all the permission to the app it requires, including the permission to display a floating windows over other apps. Next, click on the back button and at no point do not press the home button. This is the interface of the sandbox app. And on the bottom, click on the setting icon. Press on root manager and if you see this, just press back button and enable global root. This will give root privilege in the virtual space. Next, enable exposed framework. But as the app is free, you have to watch an ad to enable it and restart the sandbox app. Next, navigate to the settings and enable Google Play services, support for 64 bits apps and camera as well. Watch the one-time ad to enable all these settings. So to apply changes, just restart the X8 Sandbox app by clearing it off from the recent app. Let's move to the next section regarding one issue with this app. And don't worry, I will be providing you a solution also. Some device may face error where the download is stuck in Play Store. In that case, just go to the Play Store and tap on install. While it installs, just restart the app by clearing it off from the recent apps and launch the app again. After launching the app, the download from the Play Store will resume. So this is how you can install and use rooted apps without rooting your device. If you want to install LX Post or Xpost framework with Magisk installed, kindly watch the next video.